Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. Today's video has been a request that has been coming up a few times now in the last few months. You guys have been asking me to feature this relatively new global stock investment app called Shari Shari. Well, strictly speaking, Shari Shari doesn't have a mobile app version of its website just yet. So more precisely, we can call it a global stock investment platform. With as little as $1, you can invest in US and global stocks via Shari Shari. If you are already one of my subscribers, perhaps you have already heard this before. So Shari Shari is quite similar to GoTrade, but if you haven't graduated just yet to GoTrade, you've kept your money in investment funds that are run by Gcash via Ginvest, then definitely Shari Shari should be on your radar. So for this video, we're going to be comparing Shari Shari to eToro, which I've also previously talked about, and go trade. I can't help it but give you a lot of comparisons in that line. So with eToro having more robust features and go trade being built for newer investors who want to invest in US and global stocks, do we really need another investment platform such as Shari Shari? Let's find out. So in the first part of this video, I'll be talking about the good points of Shari Shari, the pros that make me like it. And at the latter part of the video, I'll be sharing with you the cons and the things that are not so good about Shari Shari. As to which is better, I'll leave that up to you. But anyway, let's get started. The first good thing that I like about Shari Shari is the way that it displays these three main features about the market. The first of these would be top gainers, top losers, and the main market movers. So why is this important? Well, if you are an investor that is looking for something trendy, looking for something that's quite volatile, um, maybe you have a high risk tolerance, then you can always look at these main portions of the general stock market. Top gainers, the stocks had a lot of gains in the last trading session. Top losers, of course, these might be your bargains. And main market movers, where the volume of stocks, the volume of people are investing and selling out of. So personally, this isn't my investment strategy. I'm more in it for the long term, more for the blue chip stocks and stocks that are not too volatile. But if this is a strategy that you employ and you think that you can make the most out of, then this feature from Shari Shari is definitely something that you can make use of, which is not present in GoTrade. So the second good thing about Shari Shari, simply put, Shari Shari has a larger volume of available stocks that you can invest in. If you click on this top gainer on Shari Shari, you can invest in it. But when you check on GoTrade, then this is a stock that is not available via GoTrade. So this is another benefit of using Shari Shari. Do take note though that there are also some things on GoTrade that aren't on Shari Shari, such as an oil ETF, a Bitcoin ETF, and even REITs. So in this manner, GoTrade also does have something to offer investors that Shari Shari can't, but just in terms of the number of volume of stocks available, that definitely goes to Shari Shari. A third feature that I like about Shari Shari when comparing to GoTrade would be their display of charts. Now, if you are an investor that looks at charts as part of your decision-making process, then Shari Shari is definitely an improvement from GoTrade. Granted that Shari Shari's charts still isn't comparable to eToro, eToro, you can practically apply your technical analysis employing different tools if you are this kind of technical investor. Shari Shari is an improvement from GoTrade. Again, not as good as eToro, but since it's already better than GoTrade, then that's something I definitely have to give them credit for. So with the good points out of the way, let's move on to the bad points. <laughs> The first might be something that you already anticipated. You might have gotten this from my earlier statement. It's a fact that Shari Shari currently doesn't have a mobile app version. Aww. For you to be able to access Shari Shari, you have to use your browser, whether it be on your desktop or mobile. Unlike GoTrade, which doesn't have a desktop version altogether, uh, Shari Shari's desktop version is actually quite serious. Um, you can see a lot of features, a lot of thought that has gone into it. And for their mobile website version, it's a lot more casual and it's not intimidating to use. But I guess the thing is, I always find it convenient just to have an app. I mean, you do away with having to log in and you know, you would receive notifications and stuff which is actually 
exactly my point. I guess uh, if Shari Shari really wanted to gain more daily active users, if they had an app, they could use notifications to alert their users. So I really wonder why they haven't migrated or made a mobile app version. I think their lack of this is standing in the way of their own success. So the second thing that I don't like about Shari Shari is their onboarding fee. So they have an onboarding fee of 250 pesos. Actually, it's 260 pesos when you factor in the 10 pesos that the bank charges. Aww. So for you to be able to use Shari Shari, you have to shell out an investment of 260 pesos. Whereas when you compare this to GoTrade or eToro, where you're practically just downloading the app and using it for free. So the third thing that I don't like about Shari Shari, and perhaps this is the biggest thing, would be its deposit or cash-in fees. So in terms of foreign exchange, Shari Shari actually has a better exchange rate. And I thought I would be getting more for my 1,000 pesos. But the downside here is that Shari Shari charges you $3 every time you deposit. So it seems to be a base rate of $3 and then there is a variable rate that they factor in. So for my 1,000 pesos that I deposited into Shari Shari, I was expecting it to be around $18. But because of the admin fee that they slap on, 1,000 pesos that I deposited into Shari Shari amounted to just $14.64. Putting in that same 1,000 pesos um, on the same date, this was January 24th. So the 1,000 pesos in GoTrade resulted into $18. So of course, that is a big minus from what you could be having as part of your stock investment. I think when you deposit an amount that is somewhere in the tens or hundreds of thousands, the percentage of the $3 would effectively be a lower amount. But I'm not sure. If you're like me and you're looking to just invest a few thousand pesos, then the $3 each time will definitely eat into your budget, eat into your available funds. So definitely cash and fees, something that's not working in the favor of Shari Shari. And lastly, still related to fees, would be the withdrawal fees that Shari Shari slaps on. So for GoTrade, each time you withdraw from your account, it's a $2 charge that they would slap on for getting your cash from GoTrade into your local bank account. But for Shari Shari, these fees are at $5. So easy comparison here, $2 versus $5. So with all these in mind, do I not recommend Shari Shari? Um, <laughs> I see a lot of hope in Shari Shari. Again, there are good features that are working for it. Um, the thing with Shari Shari also is that it's actually a local Filipino company. So I have to give them credit to be able to compete on par with these other uh, global stock investment platforms that are backed up with, you know, very big venture capitalists. In terms of features, I do applaud Shari Shari for that. But they have to get their act together in lowering their fees, doing away with fees that their competitors don't even have. They should be able to work with banks and lower the fees and maybe, you know, do away with these admin fees altogether. It's hard for me to actively use Shari Shari right now. I will continue to use it. I hope that they're able to work these fees out because I do believe in what they've been able to do so far. So if you're interested in Shari Shari, I'm sharing with you my referral link. I'm not working with Shari Shari. I'm also not working with GoTrade, but I'm also sharing here my referral link. If you want to use both and just compare, uh, that's most welcome. What do you think? Have you used Shari Shari? Uh, share your inputs in the comment section. Uh, if you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!